this video is sponsored by Squarespace. We are fresh off of my last day of my full-time corporate job. We're done. I'm free. I I can't believe how quickly three weeks flew by, but today was my last day. I spent it with my coworkers. We went out for lunch, and then my boss got flowers and cupcakes that I shared with everybody. I almost have no words, but I'm excited, I'm nervous, but today marks the journey of whatever I want. <sighs> it's Friday, so I'm going to enjoy some time off. I'm going to play some games. Let me start up my computer. I've also been thinking of some really cool YouTube ideas and reels, TikTok ideas. I want to try and do some kind of reoccurring series on my channel. I was also interested in like maybe rating setups or even just like viewing your setups. If you guys think that would be something you'd be interested in where you can submit your setup to me and I walk through it, uh, we talk about it, that could be something you could let me know. I feel like we would need some sort of discord for that, but you guys let me know if you would be interested in something like that on top of like more series and more fun things that we can do on the channel. But that's it, we're here. Wish me luck. <laughs> Thank you guys also so, so, so much for the support on my last video where I talked about me quitting my job. I cannot believe how many comments I got from you guys. It, it, blows my mind. I can't believe how supportive all of you guys are and how touching and kind and just insanely, insanely sweet and supportive. So thank you guys so much. I'm literally doing this for you, for me as well, but we're in this together. I literally could not be doing this without you. So thank you guys so much for everything, for all of your kind words and for sticking around. So yeah, I can't believe I did it. I'm, I'm in denial. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> Before we get into the rest of the video, here's a quick word from today's sponsor, Squarespace. Have you ever thought about making your own website before? I've been making websites since I was 13. I was self-taught and I was a little nerdy geek who wanted to make fan sites for my favorite games. But nowadays it is so important to have some sort of online presence if you are a streamer, content creator, blogger, artist, photographer, any type of creative who needs an online presence as well to grow their business and connect with an audience. They have tons of different templates depending on your niche. I'm currently using my site to showcase my social media services to brands so that I can continue to produce engaging content for you guys, my viewers, and help grow my channels. You can embed videos, offer membership fees to gain exclusive content, link all of your social media profiles, sell merch or products. If you're a content creator, you can link the mods you use for the games you play or upload certain exclusive podcasts behind paywalls to special members. Anything really you can think of, you can make it happen on your Squarespace website with a click of a button. It is super user-friendly, drag and drop, customized everything to your brand and your aesthetic. So if you're interested in checking out Squarespace and building your own website, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com slash astronuggy, or you can just use code astronuggy at checkout for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much to Squarespace for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. And thank you for sticking around and listening. guys enjoyed that nice little ASMR unboxing. So this is the Ye Light Cube Smart Lamp and it comes with a bunch of different add-ons so you can essentially create your own like custom box or custom cube light. I'll show you how it works in a second. So all of these cubes are magnetic. You can see the LED screen on that side. And then this is the spot expansion. So you can have it horizontal like that. You can have it standing, kind of the control panel. So this goes all the way at the end. So I guess mine's gonna be really tall because ooh, you can only do one way. I can't like stack them on top of each other. Got 
there are three different e-light apps, make sure that you're downloading the station one. I realize that there's also a little button on the very front of this that looks to be touch as well. So I've got two of these, one, and then two. Oh, I actually balanced that out kind of perfectly. So we can select clock mode which I do love a good clock. I can select if I want just the time, the date, or a combination, but I can't tell if it's right. Like that that just looks like one, two, three to me. Either way, I can fix that later, but we have a couple options for colorways. So they of course come with their own presets here. And then of course you can either select a custom color or do some pixel graffitis. Does that look like a creepy smile? <laughs> a little bit. So it's, a little bit too bright in my room and my camera's not picking that up but that's definitely purple in real life they're not the same undertone so this is more pink while this is more blue toned what I also noticed was that the spotlight can actually be turned and rotated which is really cool in all directions in the bottom corner you have dynamic effects so translation breath fishing accumulation one is translation. Oh, and they actually have a ton of presets as well. So you've got cute little Pac-Man, you've got cherries, and the ugliest one is the definitely the smiley. So we will change that to cherries. Oh my god. Okay. I rejigged it because since we had moved this, the app was still thinking that it was in the center. So now the date is correct, 520, May 20th, and so on. Time, 2.48. Okay, it's 10.48 right now. So for some reason, this is pulling from their app servers, which sucks because I would have 100% used the clock feature. Now let's find a spot to put this. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we move that light, even though it fills the space better. My headphones used to be here, and now I moved them over here. But we already have light there, so I don't want to stack one block of light on top of another in sort of similar shapes. It would be perfect if I could put it somewhere here. <gasps> Until I get my new monitor layout going and I get rid of my portable monitor, it's going to be the perfect spot underneath my monitor shelf. But for now, I'm going to try it in standing mode. a little extra right beside my PC because they both have like the rainbow unicorn puke but you can also actually turn them if you really want like they're pretty versatile it's on a slant right now because my monitors are super heavy and it weighs down the back so this feels not super stable but that's not the, the lights fault it's purely my desk I will leave this linked in the description below. I'll try and get a coupon if I can. I think when I move this to under my monitor shelf, I'm gonna skin or spray paint these sides. It's fine if the screens are black, obviously, but it's gonna stand out because it's the darkest thing officially in my setup. But I've been saying that for five billion years that I'm gonna spray paint things, but I will. On my to spray paint list is my monitor light bar. That one might be a little bit more tricky because it's curved and it has like things all around it. And the bezels of my monitor. I wasn't gonna spray paint this originally because of resale value, but the back of the monitor is so banged up from moving and taping things. I don't think I would ever be able to get that much out of it if I try to resell it. So I'm gonna do whatever I want to it because it's mine. I've had it for like two years now. I just don't like the black bezels. That the monitor light bar, maybe this, and the Yee Light Cube Smart Lamp. <laughs> I'm not kidding when I say I've been waiting for this for maybe like six months. Something like that. This is a monitor arm from the folks over at ABLT. So this is white, this is the, a brand new model. Dual monitor arm. So, what does that mean? It means we're having a new monitor layout. Which like kind of sucks because I just set up my portable monitor literally last week and I love it. But if I can maybe even try and find an adapter for the portable monitor so that I can like be cemented. There's a little note. This is so cute. This is definitely a more higher end monitor arm because of the build quality. This isn't no dinky little cheapy plastic. Like this is heavy duty. These are heavy. Super. 
super nice. You can see it's got little cable management. depend when I'm sitting. I think that makes a bit more sense. It's not as like. <laughs> that was the most boyish sound effect. <laughs> 